Imagine your friend calls you up and says, hey, do you mind coming over and giving me something? Uh, I, I'd really like it if you did. You're a good friend. Could you do that? What? Coach Greg, and listen to this, Connor Murphy, he just keeps getting worse. He's literally saying he's drinking the protein shakes of other men. They're manly protein shakes. First of all, your cookbook is not a bunch of protein. It's, in fact, more carbs. So it's, in fact, an energy drink. It's not a protein shake. So the video is called Connor Murphy's First Time with a Guy. So if it's not clickbait, you would have to assume that he's had some form of a sexual relationship with a man, which is perfectly fine and acceptable. There is nothing wrong with that. Not that there's anything wrong with that. No, of course not. I mean, it's fine if that's who you are. Absolutely. If it's clickbait, then it's something different that doesn't mean he's had some kind of sexual relationship with a guy. What exactly is this experience that we're going to do? Well, it is pretty crazy, but it's probably not what you think. It's, it's probably even crazier. So I'm thinking, well, it's probably clickbait. He's probably doing some kind of meditation with a guy and it's his first time meditating with a man or something like that. So it's crazier than that. So obviously I'm expecting since he says it's crazier than that, it's gotta be something really crazy. One of the most powerful substances known to man made by man, <laughs> actually. And there's evidence to suggest that cavemen actually ingested this substance. So just because cavemen ingested semen, you think that we should do it now? I don't look at anything people did millions of years ago and try to copy what they did. I would certainly hope that we would have evolved since the days of cavemen. I mean, after all, we're now cave circles. They used to have a test to see if a woman was a witch. They'd throw her in the ocean, and if she drowned, she wasn't a witch, and if she survived, she must be a witch. You see how stupid that is? Imagine doing these things. That's what people used to do back in the old days. You think we should be doing what they did back in the old days? No. Fighters, boxers, football players back in the old days, they used to not have sex for a week before a fight because they thought it would drain their energy, that they would somehow perform at a worse level. Research would suggest otherwise. In fact, having sex can improve your performance, improve testosterone levels. So why y'all no fapping? Think about it. Have sex more than last time. It can improve your performance. So more plates, more dates. Greg Doucette, I challenge you to formulate an opinion about this substance. Challenge accepted. That wasn't challenge, challenge. accepted. So here's my opinion. Are you telling me that you're so desperate to make gains that you're willing to swallow mother man's load, but you're not going to just take HRT or something? Really? You're trying to convince us that swallowing another man's load is going to make such a difference that it's worth doing that. I don't believe that's true. I don't believe it. And I don't believe that you're actually going to swallow his load. I think you're talking about it, making up this story and making it sound like it might work in order to get more views. You know, more spews for more views. I don't think you're actually going to have that guy jerk off in the bedroom next to you. And then you're going to walk in and spray in some meal and chug it. I don't believe that's happening. I just don't. Maybe there's not enough people who are subscribed to the OnlyFans channel and you're mixing up a, a man's drink mixed with Mio and you're going to drink that on camera hoping to make more money. If you're that desperate and you need the money that bad, then so be it. So what? There's nothing wrong with doing this. It's just not for me. And I don't want anyone watching this to actually think that you can drink other people's freaking cookbook and make loads of gains. No, you're just drinking freaking cookbook. You're not making loads of gains, okay? Sorry, telling you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. What you want to hear is, hey, girlfriend, boyfriend, circle friend, if you swallow cookbook every night, you're going to get a freaking shredded body with lots of muscle. But if it was actually true that this worked and you were dispelling this of your body and the other person drinking it was making the gains, then you would be losing the gains in expelling it. Think about it. If it helps somebody by drinking it, it's going to hurt somebody by losing it or getting rid of it. If you do a test shot and you somehow take the test shot out of you, you're not making the gains from the test shot. Hopefully that makes sense. Cool. So even though it contains exogenous hormones, yeah, I, I would probably agree. I, I would say that it's natural, but again. So is your human protein shake natural or not natural? I'm going to say it's natural. 
If somebody swallows it and they're drug tested by WADA, they're not going to fail the test. They're passing it. You can drink all the human carb shakes that you want and you're not failing a WADA test. So in my mind, you're natural. If you have an orange at the house and drink 12 other dudes human carb shakes, you're still not making any gains. Time out. Oh, you're right. Mmm. Mm. Oh, it's so warm. Even if there was testosterone and tran everything you want in the shake, it's not absorbed by the body. You can't just drink it and have it work. For example, there's a reason I inject my HRT. I inject it with a needle. I can't just drink it. I can't just do a shot of HRT. It wouldn't be absorbed by the body. It wouldn't work. It wouldn't have any effect. I could drink the entire bottle every single day and it would have no effect whatsoever. And has way more testosterone in my testosterone bottle than in a human carb shake. Let's say your human car shape was full of testosterone and that you could absorb it by drinking it. Let's say it did that. Amazing. Oh my goodness. Connor's actually right. Oh, I can't believe it. He's right. Even if that was the case, guess what? It would shut your own body's production of testosterone down. You can't just consume testosterone exogenously, add it to your own testosterone and not have your body not realize it's getting extra tests and produce less of it. It doesn't work like that. So even if it was natural and it worked, your body would still get shut down. So guess what? You'd have to drink those human protein drinks for the rest of your life or you'd lose the gains. It would be like a SARM or a steroid. Once you come off, you would lose that benefit. And if it actually worked, even if it was natural, they'd ban it. They'd say, ah, you can't have test levels that high. We can see you got that test level from Johnny Sins here, and it's not going to be allowed in your body. It's another man's testosterone. You can't have that. You're not allowed to swallow. You got to spit it out. Sorry, giving you the bad news. You can't be swallowing that human carb shake. So absolutely, I think a ton of people would be drinking human carb loads if they actually knew it made gains. The problem is it doesn't. It also contains one of the favorite things that I like about it. It, it has nerve growth factor and you can't really find this anywhere else naturally, right? I could be wrong. Just because something contains something doesn't mean it's going to have any effect on the body. It can have it but your body needs to be able to use it. I can have a car, but if it doesn't have any gas, it's not driving me anywhere. It just doesn't work. So just because something has something, it doesn't mean it's gonna be of any benefit to you. When they give spermidine to animals, it has shown to increase their lifespan by up to 25%. So this substance is, is magical. It's like the elixir of life. That would mean if your average life expectancy was 80 years of age, you would add 20 years to your life by consuming this. You'd live to be a hundred. If it was actually that effective or frankly effective, even in the slightest, somebody would be bottling this up, selling it and making tons of money. Consider that even if you're prescribed testosterone or growth hormone or metformin or, or anything, it's not adding 20 years to your life. If it did, imagine not taking it. No way would anyone in the right mind not take it if it was actually that effective. So sorry, if it sounds too good to be true, it almost always is. So I started ingesting this substance. The results were incredible. I started feeling like a superhuman. I didn't feel tired. I didn't have any of the negative effects that I would normally have when this substance would leave my body. There is no way that there is any scientific truth to that. After you have an orgasm, you get tired, you wanna to go to bed, whatever. Sometimes this happens for people. There's no way that drinking it has the opposite effect. What is it? Is it full of caffeine or ephedrine? How is drinking it going to all of a sudden wake you up? Maybe you're waking up thinking, why the heck did I do that? I'm not going to sleep. I'm going to go wash out my mouth. Why did I do that? So no, drinking your own carb shake, not going to give you the energy after you released it. You know, my, my physique has gotten better. My physique has gotten so much better over the past several weeks. It's been incredible and I contributed a lot to, to this. Your physique has gotten better over the last several weeks because you're training harder than last time, probably going to the gym and working out more, eating properly and making back some of the gains that you once lost.
Remember something called muscle memory? It actually exists. Once you've had a better physique and you lose it, it's easier to get that physique back the second time. That is what's happening. Not because you're swallowing your own drink. So imagine Nikolai here. He gets a call from Connor Murphy. It's like, hey, Nikolai, this is Connor. Do you want to come over and masturbate and then I'll drink it? No, I'm not doing that. Stop watching freaking YouTube. Watch Coach Greg. Don't watch Connor. Connor's talking out of his ass. What is he saying? Stop listening to him. So if you're a true friend, don't give them your drink. Tell them to watch Coach Greg. Does that not make sense? I'm actually doing this for the benefits and not just for my, you know, own pleasure, right? Mm -hmm. I am not attracted to guys at all. And neither are you. Yeah. I mean, honestly, wouldn't you prefer it if he was, in fact, attracted to guys? What, what is wrong with that? I would prefer it if Connor was just bisexual. That'd be fantastic. We could all be circles. Man, woman, circle, we're all the same. It wouldn't matter. I wish so badly that I liked uh, all the genders, huh, however many you think that there are. The more genders that I was sexually attracted to, the more options and more experiences that I could have, right? Clearly that does in fact make sense. If he was attracted to all genders, he would have more options. Think of it, that actually makes sense. That's the only thing that Connor said in this video that made any sense to me whatsoever. You can't choose who you're attracted to. You're attracted to whoever you're attracted to. Man, woman, circles, it doesn't matter. And Nikolai will put his protein shake of the gods, his divine protein shake in this, and then I will, I have this, uh, this fruit, this little fruit blend, put it in there, make it taste nice and awesome. I mean, imagine he's gonna go in the other room and he's just gonna sit there with this little cup and what is he gonna be thinking? Is he gonna be thinking about Connor during this time? What thought process does he go? Does he have porn on the computer? What, what is he watching? Is this on OnlyFans? Is he going to put Connor Murphy's OnlyFans to watch him to get into the mood? What mood setting is going on here? That is the more interesting part. None of this information made any sense. The fact that he's actually going to do this, I mean, maybe he's going to, maybe it's all a show. The fact, imagine they're actually doing this. He's in the other room and he's, he's listening in or is he not listening? Like, how is this going down? I essentially feel like a superhero since I've started ingesting my own, so I might be able to fly today. Who knows? I wouldn't be surprised. So he's literally feeling like a superhero after ingesting his own. He feels he can fly. I mean, he sounds like he just started HRT. Who knows? Maybe he's not completely truthful. Maybe he's taking something different. I don't know. I have no idea. How would I know? Let's get this started, all right? Here at Ohika Castle, mm -hmm. all right? Peace. And that's it. Ending it here. GregDuset.com for coaching. Greg Duset, I be me, bro. Bloops, they're over there. Watch with them. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok and buy my freaking cookbook. You know you want to lose weight. And until next time, I am out. First of all, it's not a freaking pro. First of all, your cookbook, not a bunch of. First of all, your.